one. Hey guys, from Campus Pride, this is John speaking. I'm at Lehigh University. I just arrived a few days ago. I'm working with the football team and starting crew practice, and I'm really excited for this season. I can't believe Camp Pride ended a few weeks ago, and I'm just so sad to leave, but I'm really happy to be on my own at Lehigh and really make a difference. One thing that I really thank Camp Pride for doing was allowing me to attend camp. Camp Pride exposed me to the different spectrums of the LGBT community that I did not know. At first, when I stepped foot on Camp Pride, I was really nervous, I was scared, because I've never been exposed to a community like that, where you have people from around the country and, and different parts of the world that are part of the LGBT community that I wasn't exposed to growing up as a child. But throughout the program, there was a lot of positive and people that were there to support me and push me to really understand what does it mean to be gay, ally, straight, bi, Pan and everything you can name in the book. It was one of the most safest and most nurturing environment for an LGBT human being to be in, to grow and to think and be happy enough to understand who you are and grow as a person. I really can't thank Shane, my Pride directors, my peers for really pushing me to make a difference. Before coming to Camp Pride, I didn't see myself really getting involved in the LGBT community because it really didn't affect me being a gay athlete at first. That's what I thought because I. I'm not what people call a typical stereotype male athlete where I'm feminine or flamboyant, but seeing how I had a major influence over the Camp Pride body, and not only body at Camp Pride, but also at Lehigh, made me want to make a difference and make a positive impact on not only Lehigh's community, and not only Camp Pride's community, but in general. So after leaving Camp Pride, I decided what can I do to make a huge difference, and I decided why not make a safe zone for varsity athletes to come out, and because I feel Athletics should be a safe environment for everybody, no matter your race, your gender, your sexual identity, and who you are as a person. So right now, I'm working really hard to make an action plan that will fit the need at Lehigh University and work with the current Pride program where they train athletes to be a scholar athlete through the four years while they're at Lehigh. It's a lot of work, but I'm really dedicated and hoping that it'll push through in the next upcoming weeks. Um, what Canada Pride really did for not only me, but Lehigh was that they exposed me to what resources Camp Pride has to offer thanks to the great uh, alumni, the campers, the sponsors, the donors, and everybody in between. Uh, Camp Pride taught me to try to push the students at Lehigh in the LGBT community to blend in more with the student body in terms of fundraising, awareness, um, getting approval, meeting plans, and just to be, make an impact throughout campus. And, this is the upcoming year. I hope a lot of the stuff that I learned at Camp Pride I could apply not only to the LGBT community, but also the whole Lehigh community in general and try to make this a really warm and welcoming environment for all everyone. Um, well, it's time for me to wrap this up. I really can't thank you enough for allowing me to go to Camp Pride. The scholarship meant a lot. It showed me that somebody did care and somebody really wanted me to have experience with Lifetime. And it, from me going to Camp Pride, I grew as a person. I'm, more open to expressing myself not only to my peers, not only to my friends either, but also anybody at me on the street. I'm able to talk about my sexual identity as if I'm talking about what I'm going to eat today. So I can't thank you enough. I hope that you all enjoy watching this video. Uh, I wish you all the best and please keep supporting Camp Pride and happy birthday Shane. Thank you. Bye.